Hi, fellow traders. I know it's been a couple of quiet days for me, but I'm back. Um, still had a slow day today. Um, missed this trade on OMER. Really, I let, I saw it pre market, and I really didn't get to scan much. I just kind of looked at a couple of things. Um, this was the only ticker that I was looking at. So I figured I'd just kind of keep it on watch. And maybe I could trade it for a 15 minute opening range breakout or, or something. Um, but I saw it make this run up. I saw it pull back in. And I said, well, if it stayed above the nine, stayed above the VWAP into open, we might get a little sell off. But I think it'll come back and, and you know, make a move. Had no idea I would get this crazy candle at the open. So once I saw that, I pretty much said, okay, 15 minute opening range breakout done. You know, here's a candle that had a range of of um three dollars and almost four dollars, you know, range. So usually when I see that, my opening range breakout trades are pretty much dead. Um, didn't really pay attention to the VWAP trade. You know, I figured it would be a little bit early for that. So when I came back and I looked and I, um, it was printing this candle here. And I said, well, hey, maybe this is will be a good VWAP trade. Um, it's over the nine like I like it. This is the perfect setup. This is exactly what I look for if I'm going to trade off the VWAP. I would not trade it. If the candles are printing below the nine moving average, I will not trade it. You know, even though sometimes it does work, I like to see candles that print above the nine and then follow it right on up to the top. And th this was perfect. It was beautiful. And I was kicking myself because I kept going back to my phone looking at it because I was somewhere else. I wasn't at my computer. And I kept kicking myself, saying I should have entered and just set my set a hard stop on. I should have entered here, you know, set a hard stop on the low of this candle and just let it ride. But I didn't do it. You know, I guess air on the side of caution is probably the best thing sometimes in stocks. But this would have been, you know, a good way to start my week off. Since I didn't have any trades yesterday, but totally missed it. I uh, just wanted to show you this because this is a perfect example of the setup that I look for. Uh, perfect example. This line is a 15-minute, you know, high. And really, had I played a 15-minute opening range breakout, I would have entered here, and I still would have had, you know, a good two, almost three dollars you know profit on this trade so I really messed this trade up by letting one candle affect how I looked at this trade the rest of the day so that's a mistake you know something that I need to work on um, probably won't make this mistake again but you know it was good for me to um, point it out now the trade I did take was on OKE uh, it was on my gap down scanner um, I saw it, you know, right here, but I was busy, you know, doing some things. So I said I, I wasn't going to take the trade. Um, same way the nine was too far away, so there wasn't much I can do. Then I came back and looked again, I think, somewhere in here, and it was starting to run down, and I almost shorted it. But if I'm not able to stay at my computer, I just kind of miss out on all these moves. So the day was the day I was just moving around, trying to move in, um, get situated. I got a, a new part-time job. They made me an offer that I couldn't refuse, which is going to allow me to continue to put money up, continue to add money to my account. Because I realize now the more money that you have in your trading account, the more comfortable and confident you trade. Um, when I'm up, before I wire out that last week, you know, it feels a whole lot different than when I come to trade that Monday and, you know, over half my account's gone and I'm having to start over. So it is a, it is a mental thing, but 
you know, this is, I'm in it for the long haul. And I'm going to continue learning, continue working, and doing whatever I have to to, you know, ensure my success. But uh, when I got back from lunch, you know, I looked at it, and it was starting, I think it was down in here. So I kept it on watch. It was the only one that was interesting to me. You know, it had, you know, this is like a dollar range here. You know, it, it didn't have the range that the previous ticker had, but all I wanted was a solid trade, a trade on a solid setup, get some decent profit and move on. Well, I entered here, you know, once it got over the nine, I entered here. I figured if it got stuffed at the 20, you know, my stock was real tight, wouldn't lose that much money, but it did and it popped over the 20 and, you know, made this run up. Now, of course, you're going to think about, should I take profits here? And if I was a rookie still, if I still had my rookie hat on, I would have taken profits here. This is what I've had a problem doing and what I've had to learn to, to do is let the trade work. Just because I'm up decent, you know, this trade is still live. Now, it did close below the nine, and that's usually my signal to get out, you know, on this candle here. But this candle didn't print, didn't open lower. It actually opened at the same price that this candle closed. And the price action really didn't tell me that this thing was going to sell off. It just didn't. It just looked like a fight. And this candle opened one cent higher. So I'm thinking, well, maybe this thing is going to base and then make a nice, strong push up. So I just held on to my trade. I was only in 500 shares. Maybe if I was in 1,000, I might have took, took some off here and then added back. But I was only in 500 shares on this trip, so I held on to it. My target was the VWAP, and once I hit my target, I went ahead and took profit. Now, what I expected it to do was to pull up here a little bit and maybe pull back. It didn't. So what I did was I went ahead and entered right here because it looked so strong. I felt it would keep, you know, hold the nine. I mean, hold the VWAP. The nine was coming up, so I anticipated a cross and really expected to move up to here, but I didn't get it. Um... It just kind of fluttered around here a little bit. I just held the trade on uh, right here. I normally would have taken it off, but I was on the road. I had put in a hard stop when I had to leave to go pick up my son. So I put my hard stop on the VWAP. So I just kind of let this thing ride. I was already up on the trade. Even though I did put in a thousand shares on this one, I was looking to get a little greedy and, you know, make up for this. But um, just kind of let it ride and about five minutes before the bell, you know, I was on my phone. I went ahead and took it off and you know, that was my trade on OKE. One, another one of my good textbook setups, you know, it trades. Once this gets over the nine on a reversal, I'll take it. I will not trade a reversal unless these candles print over the nine moving average and I will follow it up. So um, though this was my trade for the day, uh, hopefully this will boost me to, you know, trade better tomorrow. I'm in the middle of a four-day uh, free webinar that Kunal from uh, Bulls on Wall Street is putting on. Um, it's an awesome webinar. I know it's for beginners, but sometimes you have to go back to the beginning and listen to how somebody else explains things, how they use them. I mean, it's really, I'm really excited because I'm seeing the same things in charts, but I'm seeing them differently. And it's, it's making a big difference in my confidence and how well I see and, and plan my trades. So I'm excited. The third night starts tonight. Um, I'm excited about the next two nights. And hopefully my trading will continue to get better, more consistent, and 
hopefully I'll have another video with a massive trade but until then um, everybody have great trades and stay green